Whoa! That's a good one, Audrey. Look at those. Ooh, it's bright out here this morning. Hey, hey, y'all. I've been looking forward to today. We are going to be digging our potatoes. We planted these potatoes about three months ago. The ones on the front are about two weeks behind the others, but I think we're gonna go ahead and dig all of them up today. Uh, the back two rows are Kennebecs, and then this front row is some that we had left over from what we planted last year and harvested. Um, I'd have to go back and look to see what variety they are. I'll link last year's video for you. Y'all y'all tell me, <laughs> what, what variety are they? And then down at the end of the front row, there was some grocery store red potatoes that mama had that had started to sprout when we planted those. Now, I've actually already dug probably, oh, I would say eight to ten pounds of those red potatoes. And we've just kind of been pulling them out of the ground as we wanted to use them. And they've been delicious. So, I've already harvested some of those, but there are still some of those left. And we're going to go ahead and harvest all three rows of potatoes today. See if I can find some shade. There we go. The plants are starting to die back. I'll give you a better look at that. I have loved growing potatoes, y'all. Last year was our first year to grow potatoes. And when I shared that video uh, of us harvesting those potatoes, y'all seem to really enjoy that. So I'm excited to let y'all be a part of it again this year. Potatoes, it's like a, like a treasure hunt. One, they're pretty easy to plant and to grow. I have a video where we planted these. I'll link that down in the description box for you. But... We just put the potatoes in the ground, mounded some dirt up over them, and as they were growing, a couple of times we ran the tiller through them and pushed some dirt up on them to mound them up to heal the potatoes. And I put some compost on them when they started coming out of the ground. I put a little more compost on them when they started flowering. And that's been it. We've just let them grow, let them do their thing, and today we're going to harvest them. And what really makes it like a treasure hunt is these are a root crop. So until you start digging, you don't know what you got. And that's exciting. Now, if it ends up being a flop, that may not be as exciting. But hopefully we have a good harvest and that's fun to just see it coming out of the ground. I did not put any fertilizer on these this year. I just did the compost. I didn't even do the organic fertilizer. So... We'll see how that works out for us. I was kind of interested to see if that would work just using the compost. There's where the seed potato was. Do I pull it? Yeah, pull it up. <laughs> That's fine. We'll just have to dig them out. Just dig them out with your hands. So there's one right there. Here's a good example of when they get too close to the surface and the sun can hit them. They'll turn a little green and you don't really want to eat that. Now, this we can probably just cut off. But that's why you want to keep them covered good. And I noticed some of them are starting to peek out. So we may find some with some green spots. So that we could probably still cut off and it'd be all right. You want to avoid that though and keep them out of the sun. Where are we putting the potatoes for keeping? Uh, just make a pile and then we'll come back and pick the piles up. Well, for right now, I am, and then we'll pick them up and carry them to the porch. I'll get a box or something, and we can put them in and carry them to the porch. Yeah. Oh, look, that one's got some potatoes on it. Oh, yeah, it's got taters and ants. Yeah, be careful. Look at that. Uh-oh, stay out of the ants. Whoa! That's a good one, Audrey. Look at those. That's a seed potato. It's a potato. Watch it, baby. There's a bunch of ants right there.
gentle with it. There you go, get up underneath it. That one's in there good, huh? That one's wanting to stay. Can't stay, mister. Got it. I like to do it with our hands so we don't scrape any of them or stab any of them. But we ran into some spots where there was ants. Watch out, Fletch. Back up, buddy. Don't get in the ants. So we're digging right there with a shovel. What we got? <laughs> There's a good one on HUD. These right here are the red potatoes. Yeah, you can. These are all the red ones. Look right here. Start right here. Oh, that is a good one. Right here. I play Oh, you don't have gloves on, baby. Just leave those. Don't, hey, Fletch, don't throw them. What is that? Egg. It's not an egg. <laughs> Potato. Potato. Say tater. Tater. There's the potatoes. We put them on blankets and then brought them up on the porch. I'm going to cover them with another blanket and y'all I'm filthy. That's all right. We've been working hard. Uh, I'm going to cover them with another blanket so the sun can't get to them. We're going to let them sit here and cure for probably two weeks. And then last year we put them in cardboard boxes and stored them in our closet. There's no windows in there and uh, it stayed dark. And They did alright. Uh, I think I'm going to try to get the crates that have the holes in them this year to let it have a little more airflow. And then we even talked last year about burying something and doing kind of a DIY root cellar. And we never got around to it. Maybe we'll do that this year. We'll have to see. But for the next couple of weeks, they're going to sit here on the porch and cure. We're going to let the skin get hard on them and any scuff spots kind of heal over. But I am happy with that.
You get my drink. Mm -hmm. You begging to go with Grandma? Mm -hmm. You want to go with her all the time, don't you? Mm -hmm. We're going to let it cool off. We still got some other things to do today. We're going to um, pull up our garlic. It's ready. And plant some sunflowers, some more sunflowers. We got a few more things to do, but we're going to let it cool off because it got hot and it got hot. <laughs> it got hot fast. I hope y'all enjoy digging taters with us again this year. Uh, if you're new, we'd love to have you subscribe and be part of our family. We are just a simple southern family showing you what it looks like to live in a small town here in Alabama. We live in a double wide on a one acre homestead and share our life with you. We sure would love to have you as part of the family. I love you. I appreciate you. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.